we lifted the car, removed the subframe and that was the only way we could remove the downpipe. Now this is our first prototype downpipe. Yo, yo, welcome to episode two of Project Tygoon. As you've seen in episode one, we have already taken care of the inlet pipe and the air channel. Now it's time for the downpipe and a remap. So let's get cracking. To remove the downpipe in the Tygoon or Koshak, it is quite the process actually. You have to completely dismantle the front subframe from the car in order to access the downpipe area. So the boys from Mates and Mods got to work. So while we were removing the downpipe, the wheels of the Tygoon which we had removed in the previous video were now going in for a paint. So were the calipers. So while the wheels and calipers were getting prepped for a fresh coat, we managed to remove the old downpipe and compare it to the new performance downpipe. So as you've seen, we lifted the car, removed the subframe and that was the only way we could remove the downpipe. Now this is our first prototype downpipe and uh, Code 6 actually claims that this little kink that reduces at the end of this first angle change uh, is actually better for increasing back pressure and cars like this 1 litre TSI that like to rev up high and put, produce all of that power up top. This helps in bringing that power and that usability a little bit lower down the rev range which gives you more power for longer and that is something that Code 6 is able to do with their own tunes and uh, that's what Pawan has told us, the owner of uh, Mates and Mods. Now this is a two-piece downpipe and we have not uh, usually covered two-piece downpipes. They're meant to be easier to fit in and they're also uh, a bit like just much more easier to like work around with. And it's really smart because you've got two, inlet, uh, two inlets for your sensors right here which make it easier to just put your sensors in one part itself and then you just start figuring this part out. So it's all up to personal opinion. The owner still says that he is in two minds of either one piece or two piece but that's what prototyping is for. Let's start putting this in and see if it actually fits. So this is the elephant in the room, this is the culprit, this is what has uh, keep, kept everyone's knickers in a toss, it's the ECU of uh, this MQB A0 uh, platform and uh, now you've seen us tune a lot of cars, we just sit in the driver's seat, uh, connect the OBD port with our reader and we just change our variables and get the flash done but now we're going to be bench tuning it so that means the ECU needs to physically come out of the car and we're going to plug it in into our computer and then we're going to be able to uh, change the ECM figure so that's what we're going to do now let's take it uh, onto the laptop and just get it tuned Three days later. So it's been a couple of days and Pawan has been able to tune the car. Now it's stage two ready and let's see how it feels. Second gear pull. a 
massive difference in that and also the gearbox the torque converter isn't a very good gearbox in that sense and this manual definitely helps in making that experience and making that power much more fun and accessible in that sense now tomorrow we're going to be taking the car to the dyno so the next episode is going to be the dyno run so that we can finally find out what it is at the end like what is the real uh, bhp output of the tygon 1 liter tsi a very interesting episode coming up so do stay tuned for that